Hey, what's up, guys? Camp and Rusher here. We've got our official first teaser for Fortnite Season 2. Reminder, Season 2 does drop this Friday, March 8th, right in the morning. Should be yeah, anywhere from 12 a.m. Eastern to 3 a.m. Eastern, where the downtime will begin. And then we'll see the new season drop five to six hours after that. Here's our first teaser from Fortnite. Can you feel the thunder? With a look at Zeus, this will, I mean, likely be a Battle Pass skin. This is a skin we had not seen. It's not the surveys. And fire me up. What a perfect way to start. I think Zeus is the most famous, most well-known figure in Greek mythology, god in Greek mythology, and we knew he was coming. We hadn't seen him. I don't know if this will be tier one. You would think tier one or tier 100, right? Either start the pass with this or end the pass with this. Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out later on and a couple things to note here really what we see we see Zeus holding some uh, grenades on a, a belt that's just kind of a funny thing I don't know why the the god of thunder needs uh, grenades to help him in battle but hey that that's Fortnite for you and then he's got the the lightning constellation he's holding the lightning constellation so this means two things going forward one Depends what happens later today, but there's eight constellations total. So maybe, and this was the first, Zeus's constellation. Maybe we have seven more teasers teasing all the other Battle Pass skins. Or I think more likely, because we haven't seen a second teaser at the time of filming this video today. There's also four panels, right, that we've talked about. Zeus, Ares, Cerberus, and Hades. It could be instead that the next few teasers are all of these different panels and there will be one per day. That would work best, right? One Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four panels, and then the season drops early Friday morning. Either way, or maybe they just switch it up. That's a Battle Pass teaser. Then we get some map teasers because I do expect some big map changes this season, some really cool POIs this season. Other than this Odyssey poster image, uh, this, this could be a teaser for a POI. That's really the only leg we have to stand on right now, and I'm for it, right? We know a lot about the new season, but also we know so little at the same time. A reminder now, this is our battle pass with all the survey skins, but now include the Zeus skin we just saw in there. Okay, there's two Medusa styles in there as well, so that's why the numbers uh, may add up a little weird. Maybe not every single one is a pass skin, but this is kind of the general consensus of the community right now. Designs could change. Those are just initial survey designs. On top of this, though, a lot more did leak last night before I went to bed, and it... it get some excitement going but also some confusion also i am talking about at the end of the video an update on the hack situation the data breach situation epic games did comment on it we'll get to that soon but rumor slash it is from the file so a rumor based on some evidence fortnite times juju kaisen wave 2 may be coming next season a few hours ago again last night it was spotted in the fortnite api that there could be a new skin cup for Kaisen in season two. We have not heard about anything for wave two yet. And Shina specifically, he kind of has a his ear on the inside sources. There's been no talk of a wave two, but it is in the files. This cup, the skin cup, and that would make sense if they're doing some type of release for new Juju Kaisen stuff. The issue here is we already had a big leak, an exclusive leak, and it is Fortnite times the Avatar, the last airbender being our upcoming mid-season event pass for season two. And there's things attached to this, right? Collect all six books by completing quests to get the Appa Glider, instantly claim the Aang Fortnite style and the Aang Lego style, and then more stuff just talking about the premium track, the free track, and this was in the files. Like, this is official. So both of these things could be happening, but I would be very surprised if both happen in the same season. And I mean, you would just think because it seems like there's way more ready to go for Avatar that that's the focus next season. Either way. So yeah, I mean, exciting news. Like I said, just a little confusing on the timing of this stuff. I'll update you as soon as we know more. Subscribe, turn your noties on. And also code the camp and rusher for the new battle pass. You can type it in now. There's my shameless self promotion out of the way. Thanks for the love. Flora's Lava will be returning. We've talked about this many times, but we're adding to this now. We'll be returning in Chapter 5, Season 2, confirmed as there is a new upcoming Lava Cup codenamed Ragnaros Solfron. So 
this is huge news. We actually focused on this in yesterday's video. Midas presents The Floor is Lava, LTM inspired by Midas. We knew this was coming. We just weren't sure it was for next season. We assumed it was, and I think we can basically confirm this. So to me, this almost confirms we're getting Midas next season and maybe all the stuff attached to him. Midas's yacht has been mentioned. Jules' his drum gun, uh, Tiantina's bow. All that stuff could make an appearance throughout next season. But we're going to add on to this because it doesn't stop there. An interesting theory about the Flores Lava Cup that we just discussed from Matt Swolda. In OG World of Warcraft, Molten Core was a lava raid dungeon. Ragnaros was the final boss in there and the hammer he'd carry slash drop as loot was known as Sulphurus. With this lava cup matching the naming and being a lava tournament, it makes me wonder if the Fortnite references we saw in World of Warcraft a while back were more than just references and if we might see some form of actual collab in Fortnite as soon as next season. Or if it's just epic devs messing around internally with the name of an unfinished cup that technically we shouldn't have seen yet. So, right, it could go either way. I mean, the theory is so good and everything matches up so well that I think it is just a matter of are the devs naming this just for fun just this is how they kind of name things behind the scenes assuming no one was going to see this or is it actually mean what Matt Swolda's theory here is saying Rocket League season 14 was just announced and it brings two new car bodies as I've discussed which will soon be added to Fortnite slash Rocket Racing we assume at the start of Battle Royale season 2 the we, we'd seen one of these but not the second one so the first image is the Admiral instant unlock when purchasing the Rocket Pass and second image is the Mako, which is unlocked later in the Rocket Pass. If you are a subscriber to Crew, Fortnite Crew, the, the monthly subscription, you get the Rocket Pass for free. Well, or included in the subscription. Fortnite just teased an exciting update for UEFN that is coming soon. It will be announced on March 20th. Take your guesses what this could be. There's uh, uh, there's really, it, this could be anything, right? But they're, it's so big that they're hyping up. Like this is Fortnite saying it's an exciting update. So yeah, 16 days from now, well, we're well into season two. There's going to be some big updates coming to UEFN. And exciting as a creator, but also for players, just the, the more that the creators can do, it usually just leads to more fun for, for us players. And then Hypex put a tweet out. Place your best on who will leak the battle pass or anything really about season two who's gonna be the big company that does it this season is it sony is it xbox microsoft is it nintendo is it someone else i'm waiting for it of course as a fortnite newsman i'm waiting as patiently as i can but the minute something big happens and i'm talking big leak like big piece of key art that wasn't supposed to be seen uh, and it's you know usually a few days early we're right in that time zone right now right four days before the new season there's bound to be a mistake and you know as a fan of the channel we will have it uploaded right away uh, as soon as something goes public so yeah i'm gonna take my guess on nintendo i'm going the nintendo route this season that's my guess let me know yours uh down in the comments below okay an update on the hacking situation it all started from a post on on the dark web and it was uh, Mogilevich or supposedly this person was acting like this hacking group they, they posted this we've quietly carried out an attack to Epic Games servers the data that was compromised they said is emails passwords full name payment info source code and many other data included and then they went on to say that they're asking for $15,000 from Epic to basically not release the information and we talked about it because this a few days ago because Epic Games did mention that they were looking into it but it was also probably uh, a scam a trick because one if you had this much information they said they had like 200 gigabytes of, of information of data I think you'd be asking for a lot more than $15,000 from a company as big as Epic Games however it also was definitely worth making the video because it does not hurt to update your passwords make sure you have different passwords on all of your different accounts enable two-step verification so we talked about it it. Good news though, Epic Games has today released a final statement on the rumored data breach attack from last week, and it's this. Our investigation has concluded the group's claims were never legitimate. This was a scam. So great news. You can go back to playing Fortnite. Don't fret. I'd still recommend doing those things security-wise that I just mentioned, but yeah, great news. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care. Talk soon. Touch that like button. Goodbye.